Hello, in this video I will show you the functions of the SIP Speedo ref counter and tell you how to use them. The following functions are integrated. Main display, trip A, riding time A, average speed A, trip B, riding time B, average speed B, RPM and max record. The button that comes with the ref counter allows you to switch between functions. Press the button once to change between the menus. Hold it down for 3 seconds to reset them. The main display provides an overview over the main parameters. Left temperature, upper middle speed, right time and lower middle total mileage. We press the button once to go to enter trip A menu. The display reads trip and shows the distance that has been covered during the day. We press the button again to enter the riding time A menu. The display reads running time and shows the riding time at the right side. Pressing the button again brings us to the average speed A menu. The display reads AVE and shows the average speed right in the middle in the large digits. In order to start a new measurement, the function menus trip, riding time and average speed can be reset. As the parameters depend on each other, they will automatically be reset along with the menus. To reset the three function menus, we hold the button down for 3 seconds. The functions are now ready for a new measurement. Trip A, Riding Time A and Average Speed A are followed by the exact same menus ending on B. This allows of two independent sets of measurements. Hence we press the button once to enter the trip B menu. We see the B measurement of the distance that has been covered during the day. We press the button again to enter the riding time B menu. Here we see the B measurement of the riding time. Of course it's also possible to reset the B measurements by holding down the button for 3 seconds. The next menu we enter by pressing the button once is average speed B. The display reads AVE. As you can see the average speed has also been reset. We press the button once to enter RPM menu. The lower digits indicate the current RPM. We press the button again to enter the max record menu. Here we can see highest speed in the middle, RPM at the bottom and temperature on the left. You can also reset this menu by holding down the button for 3 seconds. We press the button once again to return to the main menu. In the next video I will show you how to adjust the ref counter correctly. Just click here.